Hello, fellow plot requesters. Today we got the death of Ivan Illich by Leo Tolstoy. And this book terrifies me. It is about a man's descent into death. And as you can tell from the title, that man's name is Ivan Illich. Ivan Illich is, to the outside eye, a very successful person. He, is, he has lived, he has graduated top of his grade, graduated really well, done really well in his studies, and he got pretty good government jobs, married with a beautiful, beautiful, smart, intelligent woman, and he's become a judge, like one of the greatest judges of all time. However, the inside story is quite different. He treats life like a business deal. And like when he marries his wife, for example, he thinks, okay, he's ki she's kind of pretty, has a good family, is smart, that's all I need. And marries her without a second thought. And he almost has a vanity where he puts himself above actual human interaction. A good example of this is how he treats his wife. When he argues with his wife, he says that it's mildly more unpleasant or unpleasant and you I don't understand why he puts it that way like not you know I was it was very unhappy or it is a huge heated argument and I and I feel sorry and no it's I feel unpleasant it's like he's staring at a maggot on the ground and that's unpleasant like it's treating himself so vainly and so egotistically to the point where he puts himself above human interaction. And I think that's horrible. And it's also terrifying to think that I could possibly could have treated myself that way, you know? Like, I could totally, I could see that happening to me as well. And that's what's so terrifying about this novella in general. Ivan only cares about his social status. And his head's so full of it. His job is for social status, money for social status, his family is for social status, his house, his friends, everything is for a better social reputation and status so he can climb the job ladder to the top. That is the only thing he cares about. And when he becomes sick and he's about to die, he, he, ha he holds pity party for himself. And he feels this incoherent, almost like, he doesn't want to die, obviously, so he starts to victimize himself, justify himself, like, God, what have I done to you, huh? Right? Like, my life, eh, but my life was worth living, you know? I, I had a good life, other people would say I've had a good life, I made a lot of money, I got a good job, I got a good family. And then, as his death nears him, he realizes that he's regretting everything. He didn't want to treat everyone else like that. He didn't want to treat everyone else like a good business deal. He didn't, he didn't want to, he perhaps didn't care that much about the social status in the first place. And all of these, how vain he was, how much money he made, the social status, all that was just, it was simply just a, a small part of his just filling up his ego. It wasn't truly fulfilling. And I, that realization hit him at the end, and he had so much regret, and he dies. And that's the end of the book. Of course, there are more specifics in the middle, but just talking about what I really felt is, it's so, it's, such a, it's so scary, because I can see that vanity, like, again, like, kind of taking over for me as well, and me acting like even Elite, so perfectly composed and elegant and pleasant, and living life that way, when in fact, all those small pleasures don't matter. The way he's living, conforming to society's ideals and, and becoming the perfect societal person, none of that matters in the front of death. And you realize that you have a lot of regrets because you haven't done everything that you've wanted to do. And I think that's scary. And it's also scary because Ivan, the, the time when he realized that was like, the minute of his death, that was when he realized that he regretted everything and that he wanted to live a life that wasn't trapped by societal ideals and, and climbing up the social ladder and social status. And it's scary because Ivan considered himself 
the perfect example of having a perfect line between his personal and 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 professional life because like he considers himself that and that's not true because he he treats everyone his family his friends in a in a professional almost abridged manner where he doesn't care about them enough and when he argues with them he simply says it's unpleasant and doesn't really think about it and when when things get even more unpleasant for him he just pretends to work and get away from his wife he's lying to himself but he doesn't even realize and that's incredibly scary because you realize that you might be lying your you might be lying to yourself as well and you wouldn't even know just like Ivan until you die and I guess the main purpose of the novel on of of the of the short novel is to put simply live a life that you don't regret but that's just a really the most you know it's the most simplest message that you can kind of deduct because it's the book is so much more than that it talk it shows you it's it shows you death it is i've never seen a book that so accurately depicts someone's death and life so perfectly within a short hundred and couple pages and that's terrifying and it really made me think about so many things like my life and what I want to take how I want to take my life and how I want to live my life do I want to conform to society and act like Ivan Ilyich so perfectly elegant and socially acceptable or do I want to live a freer life and which one will I regret less when I die? It makes you think so much and in that way it's a masterpiece. And again, it's more terrifying than any horror horror book or horror novel because horror at least has a sense of fantasy within it. This is the cold harsh reality. A reality that is that is much much more scary and much much more terrifying than any fantastical horror story out there. In that way, it's more terrifying than the best works of Stephen King or, or Goosebumps. It's crazy. And it's a good book. I would recommend, I, I wouldn't say I recommend the book, but like if you want a good thought, if you want to think about life and look over your daily deeds and look over yourself, then yeah, this is a good book for you. I'd give it an easy, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Like I didn't enjoy it. But at the same time, it was very well written and the symbolistic little nuances of the character and, and the message that it contains, it's just awesome. And like always, your plot quester and plot quester. Again, a little bit of a warning here. The book is quite depressing. It's literally the stages of someone dying and yeah, yeah, just be warned. But you will come out of the book a different person than you were before reading it. That's one thing that this book accomplishes that is that makes it a true masterpiece. Have a great day. Goodbye.